morning, my friends. Welcome back to Sunday School. I'm Miss Jennifer. So today we're talking about faith and trusting God. Remember, faith is when we believe in something we might not see. So if, the, if I'm here and you turn off the lights and it's all dark, am I still here? Yes, because you know I'm here. You have faith that I'm here, even though you can't see me. So that's what, you know, faith is believing in something we may not be able to see. So our faith in God and trusting in God. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And we have a new book that we haven't read today, to date, and it's called Flashlight Night. Come with me and see this wall. It's full of chalk and super tall. So look, they have a wall that they've written on. This little boy and his friend. It's where I'm brave and share my prayers, my biggest hopes, my biggest cares. So he writes on the wall all of his prayers and what he is afraid of and what he hopes for. I hold some chalk tight in my hand and think and think and think and stand with that piece of chalk I write with all my heart, with all my might. All that keeps me up at night. Are you ever worried about something that keeps you up at night? What he does is he writes it on his wall. That's what he does. My big math test, catching the ball, that kid who makes me feel so small, that I get all my spelling words right, that when I'm mad, I won't want to fight. How you can write your prayers to help too. Here's some chalk from me and you. You'll find it's easy once you start. Share anything that's on your heart. So he's having his friend share too. You see? That bike I want, that skateboard trick, our friend who just found out she's sick. Hmm. So they're writing everything that they're worried about on the wall. Will I learn to blow a bubble or tie my shoes? Stay out of trouble? At recess, be the friend they choose? Multiply and divide by twos? Oh, that's hard. So can you think of anything that you're worried about in your heart? Because these are the things that he writes on the wall. We sit and look up at the wall with our prayers. Will our prayers be way too big or are they way too small? One more thing I can't forget. God, can you make me kind of tall? <laughs> That's his last prayer. You both are brave to write your prayers, Mom says with her bright smile. Let's give our worries up to God and come back in a little while. So what does she mean by give you the, our worries up to God? What do you think she means? I think she means let God handle it. They wrote down all their worries, and now she's going to see what God does. To us, a while feels like forever, actually forever plus two. That's how long we'll have to wait to see what God will do. We wait and wait and wait to go. Will the answer be yes or no? The waiting is done. The time is right. Mom calls out. It's flashlight night. Come on, friend. Let's go see what answers wait for you and me. So it's nighttime and they have flashlights. I wonder what they're going to do. Up, up, up the stairs, we climb right to the spot, the wall that holds such special prayers, some answered, and some still not. Do you see the wall, Mom asks? Yes, Mom, I see it every night. She flips a switch and click, out goes the light. How about when it's dark, Mom asks, do you see it now? I don't, I answer quietly, but I know it's there somehow. Remember, we just talked about that. Now flash your light on the prayers where you see God's great big yes and turn your flashlight off where your yes has not come yet. Flashlight on. I'm getting tall. I've grown an inch or two. Flashlight off. I'm still waiting for a bike that's red and blue. 
So one of his prayers got answered. He grew, but he still doesn't have that bike yet, right? Flashlight on. I learned to tie my shoes. Flashlight off. That game I play, I always seem to lose. Flashlight on. That boy who was a bother is now being so nice to me. Flashlight off. Our friend is still sick. That skateboard trick just gave me a skinned knee. So there's some good things and some bad things, right? There's some things that haven't been answered yet, and there's some prayers that have been answered. Flashlight on. At swim class, I was really brave and jumped into the pool. Flashlight off. I still worry about the tests at school. Mom says, sometimes we see God's yes, and other times we don't. But just because it hasn't happened doesn't mean it won't. Even when it's dark and dim and when we cannot see, let's choose to place our trust in God. He's close to you and me. You see? So sometimes we see it and sometimes we have to wait for it, but we want to trust God always and have our faith in God. And here's a little prayer he said. Dear God, I'm thankful for a place to share my worries, hopes, and prayers. I'm thankful I don't have to fear because you're always there. I'm thankful I can trust you with all my strength and might. I'm thankful for family and friends and for our flashlight night. That's a really neat idea, don't you think? To have a place where you could write down all of your hopes and your dreams and your prayers to give them up to God. Now that you can do that any you can do that on a piece of paper or if you have a chalkboard at home, you can have your moms and dads help you do that. I think it's a really good idea to do it. So, if you have a place where you can write them down or you can make a place where you can write them down, that would be a good idea. So, let's see what the gospel reading has to say today. Now, this is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The people saw Jesus and his disciples had left. Then they got into the boats and went to Capernaum to look for Jesus. They found him in the west side of the lake and asked, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you for certain that you are not looking for me because you saw the miracles, but because you ate all the food you wanted. Don't work for the food that spoils. Work for the food that gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give you this food because God with the Father has given him the right to do so. What exactly does God want us to do, the people asked. Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Now, a longer version of this talks about Jesus saying that he is the bread of life, meaning they had just eaten bread. If you remember our last video, we, that was with loaves and fishes. They had just been given a ton of bread and they saw a miracle. And so then they kept following Jesus. And Jesus said, I think you're only following me because you had so much bread to eat, but it's not about bread that you eat. It's about the bread that feeds your soul. And they didn't understand that. That's a hard, that's hard to say. But Jesus said, I am the bread. Listen to me. If you listen to me and my words, that will feed your soul, not your body, but your soul. So the soul is the place where we believe in God. And that's our very heart of us. And that needs to be fed too, just like our bodies need to be fed. And that's fed by listening to what Jesus has to say because he's the bread of life. So that's our lesson for today. So what's our craft? Well, we're going to make a little bread of life hanger. And this, I will give you the link for this uh, template. It's a little piece of toast and it says Jesus is the bread of life. So we're going to now, I bought a piece of brown paper because I want to cut it out and use this as a template, but you could just color that in brown. So I'm going to cut it out very quickly. And use this as an outline so that we can cut out our piece of bread from our brown piece of paper. Now ask your moms or dads or older brothers and sisters to help you with this if you don't use scissors, okay? Because they can help you make your piece of toast. We're talking a lot about bread lately. Don't, have you noticed last week we talked about loaves and fishes and this week we're talking about bread and next week we're gonna be talking about bread. So now I have my little piece of toast and then I'm going to cut out my smiley face. And you can color this in any color that you would want to. It doesn't have to be white, just because sometimes bread is white. 
you can color it any color you want to and then you can put stickers on it if you'd like to do this but this just reminds us that Jesus feeds us because he's the bread of life we're gonna use a little bit of glue we're gonna put that together and then you can put a little hole in it and you can hang it so that you always have it with you that's our craft for today let's wait and listen to our song Hello everyone, I'm here right inside SMT, inside the church next to the tabernacle, where Jesus' body and blood is present here. Um, so it's a very special place to pray. So if you ever come in here, you know, give reverence, but also know that Christ is here, present with you. And so I want to sing this song called, I Am the Bread of Life. all sang along with it. Okay, thank you for being with us today. Before we go, we're going to say our closing prayer. So how do we start that? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for always feeding our souls. And thank you for bringing us together today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.